I call Sarah Dowie. Uh, I rise in opposition uh, to this bill being the minimum wage and contractor rem remuneration amendment bill. Um, look, I like to think of myself as pretty centrist on the spectrum, but um, as we've heard in previous uh, 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 speeches, uh, this is just an impractical uh, bill. Um, we've heard from officials that the risks outweigh the benefits, and certainly uh, this will not achieve its goals. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, contractors, um, you know, they, they can often write off their own expenses. Uh, they like the flexibility that the law provides um, around that, and it's about the structure of employment um, that is suitable uh, for that worker. And so this is a government that um, supports measures that are going to grow the economy and give that worker the flexibility to either go into business, to get into work, and to choose uh, the structure that they want to, to operate by. Uh, with respect um, you know, to what the, some of these things that, that the government has put in place to grow the economy, um, we have looked, and I, I heard the, the, one of the other opposition speakers talk about um, measures that, that she thought was exploitive. Well, I can talk about the 90-day trial uh, work period. That has worked extremely well in Southland, especially in the agriculture sector. It's allowed people uh, a, a chance to get into work, uh, you know, to achieve their hopes and dreams by convincing an employer to give them a chance. And so uh, they've entered into these employment relationships and had that opportunity to work hard, improve themselves and, um, and get into employment. The same with the youth wage. I mean, not everyone's going to take a chance um, with, with youths. But, uh, you know, the youth wage allows these people to get into work and, and exactly, worker participation is increasing. And, and, I mean, that's a good thing. People are getting into work and what does work do? It brings people out of poverty and helps them achieve uh, their, their hopes and dreams. And so this is um, an economy that has been growing. Um, in the past four years, it's grown at 2.6%. Um, and Southland is no different. In Southland, uh, things are going extremely well, not, notwithstanding, obviously, the drop in, drop in dairy prices, but we have got other things going on there. Um, there's other industries that are growing. You can look at the tourism, to aquaculture, um, whatever, manufacturing, uh, education, international national education. But I want to just move to uh, the NZ aluminium smelter, and obviously uh, we're quite relieved that the smelter has achieved a deal uh, with Meridian, got that deal across the line with the supply of, um, of, of electricity. And uh, what does that mean? Well, the smelter employs... I'm sorry to interrupt the honourable member. The time has come for me to leave the chair for the dinner break. This debate is interrupted, and I shall resume the chair at 7.30.